Okay, Defendor. Not Defender, Defendor. It's kind of like a lower, a low budget version of kind of like Kick Ass. But it came out in 2009, so it doesn't actually rip off Kick Ass in that, in that aspect of, of uh, when it came out as a movie. Woody Harrelson plays a mentally challenged man who decides to become a superhero, even though he has no powers. He then takes over the guise of Defendor. O-R, not E-R. You say E-R, he will get really agitated with you. And essentially, he's out fighting crime in what looks like a black bodysuit with the letter D done in duct tape, uh, an army helmet with a flashlight, as well as a camcorder that's like old-fashioned, so it makes like actual full-size tapes, a trench baton, which is like a, a World War II era close combat Think of like a, a steel reinforced bat, more or less. And as he progresses, he also has jars full of angry bees, a slingshot, and a bunch of ball bearings. You're probably thinking this is going to be a comedy. It's actually more of like an action adventure drama. Because he's trying to find like I call Captain Industry. When you actually find the origin of the character, it's actually kind of bizarre and sad at the same time. Essentially, you have a corrupt cop. You have uh, Kent Denning playing essentially his prostitute friend. You know, he, he essentially goes out, and if he thinks what you're doing is wrong, he beats you up. If he thinks that in some way, shape, or form, you're a punk with a gun, he's going to beat you up. If you're a punk with a badge, it doesn't matter. You're still a punk. He's going to beat you up. So essentially, you have Woody Harrelson every now and then. You know, going through his regular day-to-day -day life where he's a, uh, he holds a sign for a road crew. And then at night, he puts on his black bodysuit, throws on his letter D, and goes out and kind of fights his bizarre war on crime, trying to take down Captain Industry. It's, it's really weird, because when you watch it, he does, you know, occasionally monologue about what it means to be a superhero. He's like, you know, when, he's like, Defendor, he's not scared, he's not stupid. You know, it's essentially, it's, it's when he puts a costume on, he feels like he's a better person. He's a better version of himself. And it, it's done, you'd think, it's, you'd think it'd be done really tongue-in-cheek, and it's actually not. It's actually done fairly serious. And I'm asked for being a low-budget movie, it's done pretty well. It does lead to the ending, you know, when it comes to the ending, the ending is actually fairly sad and done pretty well. It kind of leads itself open to potentially a sequel. I have no idea where you would go for a sequel. But he does eventually find out that who he believes is Captain Industry does actually exist. So he goes from stopping, you know, like, petty crime, all the way up into actually fighting people who have guns. Bear in mind, he thinks he's bulletproof from a previous encounter, but he's not. So you kind of have this person who's trying to essentially make make his way through as a superhero with absolutely no powers and no training at all. But it's done really well. And it's actually, for being low budget in Woody Harrelson, this is probably one of his best roles that he's had in quite some time. And that is Defendor.